So, um, the book, Ending Aging, and I am not going to try to say it in Portuguese, it describes my understanding of how we could bring the problems, the health problems of old age under real medical control. So when I say real medical control, I really mean that. I mean the same amount of control that we already have today over most infectious diseases. And the reason I make this comparison with infectious diseases is because it's really the best way to get people to understand that aging is actually a medical problem at all. If you take yourself back 200 years, 200 years ago, infectious diseases killed a lot of people really early in life. I mean, literally, more than one third of babies would die before they reached their first birthday from things like tuberculosis and diphtheria. And this wasn't even a wealth problem. This was in the wealthiest countries in the world. And now, in most countries, hardly anybody dies that young. So you may wonder what I mean by bringing aging under proper medical control. That's what I mean. I mean having almost nobody get sick just because they were born a long time ago. So, of course... The question you will all have is, how can this be possible? How can we even think about that, since aging is so universal and inevitable? And this book tries to explain that. What I try to explain in this book is a dissection of aging, an explanation that aging is not some mystery it is something we understand. Now, of course, understanding aging is only the first step. After we have understood it, we need to figure out how to manipulate it. And one thing we absolutely need to acknowledge from the beginning is that when I say we understand aging, we only understand it a little bit. So... The huge, the big central thing that underpins what I do and what this book says is that that's okay, that we can manipulate aging even though we only understand it a little bit. Very often, scientists do not understand that fact. They think we need to understand things really thoroughly before we can manipulate them. But I am a technologist. I understand that we have good opportunities to manipulate nature even though we do not understand it very well. So 20 years ago, I started to do this for aging. I started to put together a plan for how to use what we already know, or at least what we could probably know quickly, in order to manipulate aging really well. And I described that plan in great detail in this book, back in 2007 originally. So you may think, well, why should this book be interesting now if it was written so long ago? But actually, the fact that it was written a long time ago is precisely why it is so important now. Because the ideas that I described in that book were very um, controversial back then, but they have stood the test of time they are still consistent with everything we know. And now, many other people are saying the same thing that I said a long time ago. It has become a mainstream, orthodox way of thinking about aging and about how to, re how to address aging medically. So, 
I am really happy that these ideas are being, dis being spread to, uh, in other languages by Nicholas and by other people and that more people are being exposed to this way of thinking because it is now the right way, it's now recognized to be the right way to think about aging and how to keep people healthy late in life.